Namaste. The Passion of Yoga is an incredible series that makes you take a journey into your inner world, awakening unlimited power, infinite vitality, and endless creative force. You see, this series are basics, the foundation, but they will help you eliminate physical, mental, and emotional blocks. Many problems of the body, like neck pain, back pain, migraine headaches, sleeping disorders, this may not be body, they may be mind. More than 80% of the disease are psychosomatic. You see, yoga is a great healing art. Okay? In yoga, we call disorder and not disease. Okay? Bringing the mind, body, breath, and the positive emotions helps you eliminate this physical and mental problems and gives you the vibrant health and great energy you deserve. I call this the passion of yoga. Yoga means union. You become passionate with this union, making the most out of life. Remember, be consistent in your practice. Practice regularly and experience how you increase the level of fitness and health to the higher standards. This series is good to do in the mornings, but if you're doing in the evening, make sure you give at least three hours gap after food. Okay? And have a bottle of water with you when you do this series and have a sip whenever you feel thirsty. Okay? So, get ready to build an ageless body and live with passion. Sit cross-legged like this. And you can use a towel or a blanket. Fold it in this way. You see this? Fold it this way so you get a little height. Okay? Then you sit on it. See? You feel, you can feel the back is so straight. And relax your legs. This is called Sukhasan. A simple, simplified pose. Sukh means happiness. Okay. Sitting taller back so straight. Let's do a breathing and also a movement that will help release the stiffness in the neck and also help release the toxins. Hmm? So what you do is when I ask you to turn to the left side, you inhale and turn to the left side like this. And there you exhale. Okay, when I ask you to bring the head to the center, inhale like this. And when I ask you to turn your head to the right, inhale like this. Okay, center like this. Good, begin now. Close your eyes, it's good to close your eyes and do this technique. Now turn your head to the left, inhale, exhale there. Good, center and exhale. Good, right, exhale, center, exhale. Left, inhale, there you exhale. Good, center, inhale, exhale. Good, Le right, exhale. Good, center, exhale. Left. Exhale, center, exhale, right, exhale, center, exhale, left, 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 exhale, center, and exhale. Good. Closed eyes, stay. Breathing normal. Eyes are the doors of perception. Okay. When you exercise the eyes, you exercise your mind. Okay? Now what you do is, sitting taller, back so straight, widen your eyes bigger. Big eyes. Now, keep your head straight. Don't move your head. Now roll your eyeball to the left. And to the right. To the left. To the right. To the left and to the right. To the left, choose a spot where you can hold your eyeball still. To the right. To the left. 
to the right to the left to the right to the left and to the right center close your eyes again open your eyes wider and don't move your head keep your head so straight don't move now look up and look down look up and look down look up look down look up don't move your head look down look up look down look up and look down center close your eyes again open your eyes wider now let's do diagonal left up right down 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 now right up left down right up wider wider keep your eyes wider and left down right up left down right up left down right up and left down center close your eyes now open your eyes wider and let's work to roll the eyeball round like a clockwise right 12 o'clock 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 now 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and 12 center close your eyes now open eyes wider and let's blink the eyes tightly again open eyes wider close again open eyes wider close open eyes wider close open eyes wider close open eyes wider close one more time open eyes wider close and gently close no tension in the eyes now this is very good for the optic nerve okay now rub your thumbs cup your eyes and slowly open eyes into the palms and bring hands down this is really good to do after your work and on those who work long hours with the computers this is a wonderful exercise okay it keeps your eyes very relaxed it works on the nerve okay and improves blood circulation it calms you down so before going to bed if you do a couple of rounds it's really good okay now let's release the legs right in front mm -hmm. like this okay open a little bit like this and just tap the knees to improve circulation like this okay five four three how you feel Lenny two and one now lace fingers like this in front of you now what you do is from left to the right take it a big round lean a little more backwards from the left to 
to the right, bigger, like this. Left, to right, giving a nice stretch. This helps relieve the stiffness in the hips and also strengthens your abdomen. A little bit back, but keep your arms really straight. Huh? Straight arms. Let's do it five more times. Five, bigger, lean back, four, beautiful. Three, bigger, two, and one. Now what do you do here? Right to left back. Good. Right to left. Bigger. Right to left. Beautiful. Right to left. Bigger. Right to left. Got five more. Four. Good, Kitty. Three. Bigger. Two. And one. There you go. Good. Release. Now, come on your knees like this. Okay. If you have a knee problem, then maybe you don't sit like this. What you do is simply cross the legs and sit this way on the towel. That's fine. Like this, okay. But if you can sit in this posture, that's beautiful. Please sit in this posture. Okay. Let's do a massage, massaging the bladder, the urinary tract, okay? What you do is cover your fist like this, with the four fingers tightly, keep it tight, now place it together like this, and just below your navel at the lower abdomen. Now let's do this a couple of times, take a deep breath, inhale, tight fist and exhale, touch the head. Again inhale. Good, and you exhale. Two, exhale down, beautiful. Again, inhale, you see the fist should be really tight, and exhale down. That's good. Again, inhale, this gives a nice massage to the internal organs. Exhale, good, five. Inhale, up, beautiful. Exhale down, wonderful. Good, inhale, up, exhale down. One more to go. Inhale up. Exhale down. And I want you to stay there and hold your breath by taking a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Now hold your breath. Stay there and tighten the anus muscles. Okay, hold it for 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Exhale and slowly come up. Good. How you feel? Good. You see, when you hold breath, make sure you hold your comfort. If you're not able to hold breath, please don't do that. You strain your lungs, no good. You should be able to hold your capacity, remember that, okay? Now the next one is to massage the liver, the kidneys, side. So what you're doing is the same way, you're sitting. This time you place your hands like this, like a hammer on your thighs. Okay, when you bend forward, you feel the fist going in two the ribs like this just below the ribs giving a nice massage down like this touch the head okay when you do this you will feel little pain enjoy it okay now what you do is inhale tight fist good you got to feel the fist right strong exhale and feel it rightly that's good touch the head again inhale lift it up and Exhale, good, tight fist, wonderful. Again, inhale, really deeper, huh? exhale, focus on your breathing. Hmm? Good, five, inhale, beautiful. Exhale, let's do two more, six, inhale, exhale, wonderful. One more time, inhale, and exhale and I want you to stay there touch the head now take a deep breath deeper now hold your breath and tighten the anus muscles hold it for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 exhale and slowly inhale and come up
beautiful. Yeah, feel good. Okay, now we work on the shoulders. You see, sometimes your neck pain is not just your neck pain. It is due to your shoulders. Okay, the shoulders are a little tight. So what do you do? Relax the palms on your knees like this. Ready? Now what do you simply lift your shoulders up. Inhale like this. Higher and drop it. Like that. Again, inhale. Really higher. Drop it. Again, inhale. Breathe deeply. And drop it. Let's do two more times. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Stay there. Now hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and exhale. Now, what you do is push your chest forward like this, inhaling. Squeeze the shoulder blades, okay? Exhale, round your back. You can lean a little more backwards like this and feel the upper back opening. Ready? Again, inhale. More, push the chest more forward and exhale, round it. Again, inhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades more, 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 more. And you exhale, round it, round your back. Beautiful. Let's do two more. Inhale. More. Push the chest forward. Exhale, round it. One more time. Inhale. Slowly push your chest forward. And exhale, round it. Now what do you do? Begin to rotate. Up, back, and down. Ready? Forward, up, back, and down. Let's do some breathing, okay? Forward, inhale, up, and back, down. Beautiful. Again, forward, up, back, and down. Again, forward, up, back, and down. One more time. Forward, up, back, and down. Now, back to front. Ready? Back, up, forward, drop it. Combine the breathing now, okay? Inhale, up, and exhale, drop it. Inhale, and drop it. Good. Inhale, and drop it. Beautiful. Again, inhale, and drop it. One more time. Inhale, and drop it. See, if you find it painful to sit in this pose, remember, just get down into your cross leg posture and enjoy the exercise, okay? Now, what you do is take the left arm like this, higher, more back, okay? Feel your back. Good, now with your right hand, lock from behind fully. Locking all the four, four fingers, you see that? Tight, like this, you see? You hold it really tight and stay there, breathing. If you cannot do, what do you do? Use a towel. Take a towel, hold the towel. You can get it so easier. Because the tightness in shoulders is no good. It affects your back, even your lower back, not just your neck, okay? Now stay here for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Feel good, Lenny? Yeah. Now, let's do with the right hand. Take your right hand more back, more and more, and lock it from behind. That's it. Good. Take it more back. Now stay here, breathing. You can use a towel. Yeah. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. I'll teach you another one more wonderful technique which is very good to correct hunch back round shoulders so what you do is lace your fingers at the back okay now slowly squeeze the shoulders like this and squeeze more tightly and without leaning forward get your arms up like this okay now stay here this is very good to correct hunch back round shoulders it actually helps improve the elasticity Okay, of the muscle some more more now what you do is take a deep breath and go down touch the head to the floor good 
want you to stay here for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now slowly come up as you inhale. Good, and release the arm. Good, okay, now let's move into the cat postures, which is very good for the spine to relieve the stiffness and tension in the hip bones, okay, and also good to relieve the tension in the neck. So what you do is turn the side and come on your knees, like this, and also your palms. See, you place your palms at shoulder level, and your knees at hip distance like this. Now, keep your arms straight, don't bend like this, okay? Now this is really good. This is very good to know how flexible you are or if there is any pain or tension, you can really know it. So what you do is bring the right knee to your nose, okay? Now, like this. You see? And don't touch the right feet. Then when I ask you to inhale, you inhale like this. Raise up straight, okay? All right, let's go. Now, right, touch, exhale, right knee, beautiful. And inhale, up, good. Now keep your arms like this straight and legs straight, okay? Again, exhale, round it. You see, the back, you round it to release the tension. Inhale, up, breathe in, focus on your breathing, good. Exhale again, round, inhale, up. This is third one, some more higher. Now the fourth, exhale, round it. Good. Inhale. That's the fourth. Good. Exhale. Inhale. Up. That's five. Again. Slowly. Exhale. Inhale. That's six. Okay. Exhale. Inhale. Good. Good. Seven. Exhale. Inhale. Beautiful. Exhale and let's do the last one. Inhale and I want you to hold your breath, stay here. Hold it, hold it, but remember, if you cannot hold, breathe normal. But keep the leg, leg, leg there, okay? Hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Now breathe normal, but keep the leg there. Haven't finished yet. <laughs> okay, good. Now what you do is bring your opposite hand in front of you, that is your left hand. There you go, balance it, okay? This gives a nice balance to the muscles, the opposite muscles, okay? Now stay here, a little bit lift your leg, a little bit lift your hand, this is very good, okay? The health of the spine is long life. Now five more seconds, four, three, two, and down. Good. Fortunately, we have another leg. Okay, in the left leg. Exhale, touch the nose to the knee and inhale, chin up. Keeping your back straight and leg straight. Exhale, touch the nose to the knee, round your back and you inhale. Good, good. Again, exhale, touch the nose to the knee and inhale. You see? So as you become more flexible, your leg goes more higher and higher. Okay, again, exhale, round your back, touch the nose to the knee and you inhale. Beautiful. Again, Exhale, touch the nose to the knee, and inhale. So first time or some of them who have a stiff back, exhale. What happens it is just stay here only, they cannot go. But don't worry, don't worry, but practice it opens up. Inhale, beautiful, lovely. Now three more, exhale, touch the nose, touch the nose, inhale, good. And you got two more, exhale, inhale, ready for the last one. Exhale, round it. And inhale, and what do you do here? Hold your breath for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You see, the face is so smiley, relaxed, even he's holding breath, that's the way you should. You don't tense your face. And now breathe normal. <laughs> okay, now keep the legs straight and bring your right hand in front of your face. Good. If you lift the hand up, you make sure you lift the leg up too. Okay, now stay there, breathing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, a little more up, 3, beautiful, 2, and down. Wow. How do you feel? You see, it's a, it's a very simple exercise, but you can feel...
feel the body getting hot, opening up your energy. Hmm? Good, sit down. Now, let's do the next move. Hmm? This is from the child you're moving into cobra. You see, when you're in the child pose, just become a child. So begin to quickly relax the face, drop your elbows, okay? When you come into cobra, you come up really powerful, like okay? And you hold the pose. You see, posture, cobra, is a great posture. It opens your heart center. It makes you overcome doubts and fears. It's not only just for your back, okay? Now, I'll show you how to do it. From here, when you come, you inhale, lifting up. Press the groin down, push the chest open, and look forward, okay? Open the chest. Don't do like this, okay? Just push it and press the groin. Elbows a little bend, and you exhale. Yeah, Katie? Already, Lynn? Good. Down, like a child. The moment you drop, relax the face. Good. Relax the face. The moment you drop, drop your elbows. And now, get ready. Inhale, and come into Cobra. Push the chest, arms near body, elbows little bend. Okay, exhale, round it. Good, inhale, beautiful. Open up the chest, and like this. Open the chest more, yeah. And exhale down, beautiful. Again, inhale, open the chest. Press the groin down first, you see? Make it down, and your head straight, that's it. Open the chest more, good. There you go, and exhale, round it. Good, again, inhale, open up the chest, press the groin down. Yeah, elbows in your body and little bend your knees and head straight. So you may not stretch. See some people, what happens, suddenly they throw the neck and they hurt. So this is just put it forward. Once you get very much, you know, easier, you can just drop it, nothing happens. Down again, exhale. Let's do four more times. Inhale, open up the chest, press the groin down. Okay, and again, exhale, good. Three more, inhale, open up the chest, press the groin down, good. Exhale, don't forget the breathing. Two more, inhale, that's good. And exhale, last one. Inhale and hold your breath and tighten the anus muscles. Now feel the tension, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and exhale. Beautiful. Drop your elbows, stay there. Good. You see? Now, slowly sit down. So, now we open the heart center. Now, we work on opening the heart and the throat center. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is, this is a modified version called the camel. Like a modified version, huh? So it's very easy for everybody to do it. If you have a knee problem, feel pain in the knees, what you do is make we use a towel under your knees like this, okay? And then you can come up higher. So here, when you come up, you open the throat center and the heart center. You see, the heart center is the center of emotions. You hold everything, the pain, the happiness, unhappiness, everything right here. That's why I see example. If you want to say somebody, I love you, how will you say it? Will you say like this, I love you? No, you say I love you, right from here. So this is the point, this is the place of emotions. And this is the connection, the throat center. So when you open up the throat center and heart center, you feel really great, okay? What you do is coming up like this, place the hands like this, and just stretch the throat open, looking up, and arch a little back, and again sit back, simple, like this. Okay, ready? Come up like this, open, and sit back, beautiful. Again, inhale up, open up, and try to go more and more back, but, but push your hips forward. Good, exhale, beautiful. Again, inhale, open up more, beautiful. Place the hands on the back, and exhale. Sit down, beautiful. Again, inhale, Open up, you see, you can see me now, okay? 
Open more the chest and exhale. Sit. Good. Three more. Inhale. Open more the chest. Really good. Exhale. Beautiful. Two more. Inhale. But be careful. Just go with your capacity. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Arch back more. Exhale. The last one. Inhale. And I want you to stay there. Hold it. Hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and sit down. Beautiful. How do you feel? Good? Yeah. You see, you not only open up your body, you feel you're opening up your energies too. Okay, the next one is the pose like freedom. Hmm? So what you do is you got to come up, open yourself to the sky, opening the throat, opening your chest, okay, and let go all the emotion out, okay? And when you come down, come down into the child pose like this. So what you do is I show you, see, you got to come up like this, inhaling. Like that, okay? But careful, don't go back too fast. Okay, you might hurt the floor. <laughs> okay, ready. Okay, inhale, first a little. Feel the opening. Good, and exhale. Child, beautiful. Again, inhale, open more, better than the previous, and child, nicely. Inhale, if you feel any pain in the knees, then use a blanket under your knees. Exhale, that's three. Okay, four. Inhale, open up, more, 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 and exhale. You can feel like you can go more and more back. Inhale, there you go. You see how she's going? Exhale, that's how your body opens up, okay? Inhale, more, 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 more. Exhale, good. Last two, are ready? Inhale, more, good. Exhale, and get ready to hold the pose. Okay, inhale and hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and you exhale. Good. Stay there breathing for a while. Okay. So I think by now you know this pose is called the child. Now slowly sit up. Straight. How do you feel? Good. Yeah, opened up. Good, now sit, legs straight in front of you, okay? Just relax like this, head back, stay there, and just take deep breaths. Now start centering your breath at your navel. When you inhale, your abdomen expand, and when you exhale, abdomen go in. Gently, just feel it, just feel the breath. And I want you to stay here. Take three deep breaths. Good. Slowly look ahead. Let's continue. What we do is we work on the toes, exercising the toes. Okay? Now, legs are so straight. Now, make a big circle like this. One bigger but make sure you don't lift your knees okay two bigger three four and five now reverse now one bigger two three four and five now stretch forward and push the heels away from the body stretch forward and push the heels away from the body stretch forward push the heels away from the body Stretch forward and push the heels away. One more to go. Stretch forward and push the heels away from the body. Good. Now let's do an exercise to relieve the stiffness in the spine. There's another wonderful technique. You can do this. Those who have a stiff back, do it 100 times. Okay, this is very good. Now what you do is stretch a little like this forward and take place both the hands to the right hand side. That side, good. And touch the head. Good, again, forward, like this, and to the left, like this. Okay, make sure you keep the buttocks on the floor. 
again front and side lovely good front inhaling exhale side this is good and try to keep the buttocks on the floor good forward <laughs> and exhale good you see don't lift too much like this more down like this again front and exhale left good touch the head touch the head beautiful there you go you see that again forward and exhale side wonderful again front and side beautiful inhale front and exhale to the side let's do four more times inhale forward and exhale to the side okay three more inhale front exhale to the side two inhale front and exhale side this is so good you feel so nice inhale front and exhale side good inhale forward and again relax back just place the hands to the back and breathe take two breaths now we work on the fire the abdomen the navel center you see you need the fire to digest and also to eliminate there are people who can go to toilet very easily no problem but they cannot eat they cannot digest there are people who can digest food but cannot go to toilet you see this is an imbalance so we can fix that imbalance and bring it to order like this what you do is very simple come on your elbows like this okay relax the lower back okay toes pointing more towards your face like this now what you do is more relax and look at your navel press the abdomen down okay, like this okay make sure your back is relaxed now gently lift both the legs a little up that's all and breathe okay let's stay here good frozen beautiful and more relax the back so you don't hurt the back lovely okay now stay here for another can you do 10 more seconds huh okay 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 slowly down feel good okay let's do another one moment which is also good for the sides and it starts awakening more and more fire okay now legs both up good and open legs a little like this that's good okay now stay here breathing those who find it difficult to lift both the legs lift it anyway okay now feel the strength now hold it this is quite safe very safe pose does not hurt your back okay you should remember to relax the lower back down on the floor and your weight is on the elbows now stay here for another 10 minutes hmm? 10 seconds 9 8 7 6 5 easy stiram sukhamasanam that pose which is comfortable and ease Patanjali said this word and he is following it <laughs> she too okay slowly bring the legs together hold it for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 slowly down ah. <laughs> good now another one more pose we do three now what you do is legs both up both the legs up straight straight yes that's it now open your legs like this okay now what you do is cross your legs one like that and open that's it let's do it ten times huh? okay nine cross and open very good eight cross open good seven cross open six cross open five cross open four cross open make sure you don't bend your knees huh? if you bend your knees that becomes a prenatal yoga class 
Okay. And now another five more. Five more, four more, four more. Open, three, cross, open, two, cross, open, last one, cross, open. Together for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, down. You got it. And now lie down on your back. Oh, good. How do you feel? Hmm? You see? That much is enough. It's not that you need to do thousands sit-ups, eh? the so-called sit-ups, to keep your abdomen stronger. No need. If you can hold it long enough, your abdomen muscles become very strong. Okay? Just do three, four times, and you will see the change happening. Okay? One fine morning, you get up, you look at your lower abdomen, it's not there. Okay? Now, let's go into the next move, call the bridge. Okay, knees bend, feet flat on the floor, and bring your heels near to the buttocks. Now, grab hold of your ankles if you can. If you cannot, it's okay, place the hands like this. That's fine. Okay, now grab hold, now press the shoulders down, and lift the buttocks up. Inhale, higher, very good, and exhale down. Beautiful. You see, focus on the breathing. Inhale up, really higher. This opens the pelvis. Okay, good for the back. Exhale down. Again, inhale up, open up more, 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 and exhale down. Good. Again, inhale up. You got four more. Exhale down. Four. Inhale really higher. Bring your chest more to the chin. Okay, and exhale down. Okay, three more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more to go. Inhale up higher. Exhale. One last one. Inhale. Now, why don't you stay there? Hold your breath and tighten the anus muscles for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and you exhale slowly. Beautiful. Bring your legs down straight. You see? Very important to open the pelvis. If this is tight, there is disturbance and the interlogans, there is weakness. Something like something tight here. There is no much blood and energy going here, right? The same thing happens when this is tight. When you open up, great energy. We call the pelvic energy flows in you. Hmm? Now we're going to the next one to eliminate excess gas in the stomach. Again, too much gas is also no good. You cannot be really happy about it. Now take a deep breath and hug both the knees. Take the knees, hug. Good. Lift your head up. Hold your breath for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, exhale. Beautiful, legs down. Let's do it two more times. Take a deep breath and hold your breath, hug tightly your knees, lift your head up and feel the pressure in the face, in the neck, in the back, nothing happens. Hold it for five more seconds, 4, 3, 2, and you exhale. Good, last one. Again, inhale and hold your breath for 10, feel the pressure, pull the knees closer to the chest, Lift your head up more for five more seconds. Four, three, two, and you exhale. Beautiful. Okay, take two breaths. Just feel that breath fully. Wonderful. Now, hug both the knees. Hug both the knees. Roll and sit down. Sit down. Good. Now, lie down on your stomach. Head this side, head this side. Beautiful. Now, let's work on releasing the tension in the neck. What you do is bring your elbows together like this, okay? And place the palms like this. And rest the chin on your palms. Elbows together. And what you do is you need to walk your elbows a little more front until you feel the weight of the head is in your arms, okay? Okay, now I want you to stay here, close your eyes and just breathe, relaxing. Nothing to worry about your legs just let them relax wherever they are just close your eyes and breathe this is good for your neck okay focus on your breathing if you find it more on the elbows you gotta move them a little power so the head the weight of the head is in your arms now stay there so three more breaths to go three two and one Slowly bring your hands down on the floor and rest your forehead on your arms. Good. Now, 
We're going to do a posture which is very, very good to increase your pelvic energy. Good for men and women. For women, it works on improving blood circulation to the uterus, normalizes menstrual cycle, relieves cramps and pains. For men, it improves a lot of blood to the testes and also it strengthens the prostate gland. Okay? This is a wonderful technique and I want you to do at least eight to ten minutes twice a day and see the difference. It improves a lot of pelvic energy. Okay? So what you need to do first is the pose called the crocodile. Your legs are slightly apart like this. Okay? And make sure the inner thighs are resting on the floor. Good. You can keep the feet anyway, but the point is more the inner thighs are resting. So this is the best pose to touch the inner thighs down. Okay? Now slowly come up and hold your biceps like this. You see the abdomen is nicely resting, but the chest is the, from the lower chest, it's off the floor. Now hold the biceps gently and just rest your forehead on your arms. I want you to stay here and make sure there's no tension. Sometimes you might not notice your shoulders are like this, so tensed. Okay? This is no good. So simply what you do, walk your elbows a little and rest your head. That's good. Now, stay here and first think of relaxing. Relaxing your face. Good. Relaxing your neck. And relaxing your chest. Relax your abdomen and think of relaxing your lower abdomen. Think of relaxing your thighs, your knees, ankles and toes. Allow your body to sink. Make sure you relax your eyes. No wrinkles on your forehead. Make sure there's no tension in your fingers. You just relax more and more, even your shoulders and elbows. Now, begin to slowly inhale and feel the breath reaching abdomen first. Feel it fully. And when exhale, relax into the floor. Again, inhale. Feel the breath reaching your abdomen more and more. And when exhale, relax into the floor. Again, inhale and feel the breath filling into your lower abdomen. And when exhale, relax into the floor. Now let's work more deeper. Inhale and now this time press your abdomen against the floor. You don't lift the abdomen, just press the abdomen. And when exhale, relax into the floor. Again, when inhale, press your abdomen against the floor and as you exhale, relax into the floor. Make sure you don't strain your lungs. Breathe to your capacity. Inhale and as you exhale, relax into the floor. Inhale, press your abdomen and as you exhale, relax into the floor. Do not hold your breath. Do not jerk your breath. Just do to your capacity. Now keep on breathing so deeply, so gently, without any jerk. And this breathing is also very good. It strengthens your diaphragm. In the beginning, you may not be able to breathe that longer, but by practice, what happens is your diaphragm muscle, the muscle, the dome-shaped muscle just below your ribs, becomes stronger. And you can breathe longer. You can feel that you can increase the capacity. You can breathe longer and longer. And keep on breathing so deeply, allowing the energy to go more into the pelvis. And this opens up your pelvic energy. One of the great energy you need it, okay, for a great life. So I want you to stay focused on it. Do it at least eight to 10 minutes every day. And you see, the magic. You feel great energy, great power and it changes your life.